Hey guys, welcome back to Husband and Wife Outdoor Life. Ashley and Matt here, and today we are in our ice fishing shanty. Yep, we're here on Houghton Lake, and we're about to tell you guys about our top six ice fishing safety tips. So stay tuned. Ice fishing safety tip number one is to wear ice fishing picks around your neck, around your shoulders, through your sleeves. These help you if you fall through the ice and you need to get a grip to get back on the ice. See that? So, really great, especially if you fish by yourself, but you shouldn't do that. And that leads me to tip number two. Tip number two. Next ice fishing safety tip is to always bring a buddy. Now, if you don't have an ice fishing safety buddy to go with, you wanna make sure that you make a plan with somebody back home that knows exactly where you're going and exactly when you're supposed to return. Hello, Ashley. Oh, you're going camping? Oh, fishing too, nice, okay. Who's going with you? Matt, all right. Uh, I guess just text me when you're off the ice. Okay, bye. The next ice fishing safety tip is to use a spud. You wanna use this as you're walking out to your spot. Basically, you're just gonna pound this like heavy piece of metal into the top of the ice and you're checking to see if it goes through or not. Minimum recommended ice thickness for a human to walk is four inches. We'll post a little handy dandy chart right up on the screen for you so you can see that. No ice is safe ice. Another ice fishing safety tip is an optional one, but it's a good idea to have. This is a flotation suit that I'm wearing. It's made by a brand called Stryker. This is their women's prism model. This suit, the bibs, and the jacket both float. If I was to fall through the ice, ideally I would bob at the top and that would give me time to use my ice picks to get myself out and not actually go under the ice. So the next safety tip is to walk like a penguin. If you're on slick ice, if you don't have nice hard packed snow on top, you wanna kinda of point your feet out slightly, take small steps, and then keep your arms out. Look silly, real good way to not slip. Unless you have some sort of traction device like micro spikes or something like that. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Stay safe on the ice and stay tuned for our next adventure. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Take care.